Welcome everybody to our YouTube channel. My name is High Thumb. It's a high and a thumb. Oh, just one. Oops. I have some Excel tips that everybody who uses Excel needs to know. If you're a beginner, advanced user, watch this video till the end. There might be a tip that you don't know. Let's go ahead and get started. I created this Excel spreadsheet to track our weekly expenses at home. Now, as you would see here, I would like to populate today's date. The easiest way to populate today's date is using a keyboard shortcut. Let's go ahead and try control colon. What? Go ahead and give it a try. Now, if you work with workbooks that have a lot of tabs at the bottom, and it takes you more than five seconds to navigate to the sheet you want to go to, especially if it was all the way at the end, and take a look at this. If I want to navigate to any spreadsheet so quick, you can go over those arrows you see in the lower left corner, and I can right click on those arrows over here, and then boom, a list of all the tabs will pop up. So I want to go to March week four and double click on it, and ba ba ba. There it is. If you don't think this trick is cool, I just want to say you're not cool. Once you start using Excel, you will notice that one of the things that takes a lot of your time is highlighting cells. You see the spent column here? I would like to highlight those cells and give them a currency format. Now, one of the ways to do it is you can click, hold, drag, and there it is. But because I have a small family, this is really easy. Let me show you how to do it with a keyboard shortcut so you can highlight thousands and thousands of rows in a split second. I will use Control shift down arrow key. And there it is! The control shift arrow keys will allow you to highlight cells in any direction. Now once I highlighted those cells, I would like to apply the currency format to them. So a lot of people would say, hey, I can go to the home tab and click on this dollar sign and then boom, I'm done. Let me show you how to do it the high thumb way. I'll use the keyboard shortcut, control shift for currency. To calculate the total expenses for this week. Now you probably know that there's a function that can do that. You can go ahead and click on the auto sum button and it would do it for you, right? Let me go ahead and spice things up for you and show you a keyboard shortcut for the auto sum. Try the alt equals and there it is! The easiest way possible to calculate the sum. 